hi. Hello? Can you hear us? If you can hear us, maybe you could... Oh. There he is. Hi. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear everything. Sorry for being off camera and not talking. I am not comfortable. Okay, well, hello. I'm Cammie. Neve. And Courtney! Hi. Hi, Courtney. <sighs> Please just talk without, like, robot sound. I don't like my voice. You have to say something, eventually. This is the voice I'm comfortable with. Eche, if that's you, it's okay. We're all open-minded here, and Courtney is okay with that. I am not an imposter. I am not Eche. I am Chris. Uh, uh I guess. This is awkward. Now that you're talking, your voice is great. Uh, thanks, I guess. So, Chris, so you, you are in Turkey right now, right? Yeah. And are you also 22, right? That's how old I think you said you were? Yeah. Courtney, why don't you explain to Chris why this is even happening? Long, long story short, this is what Tammy and me do. They help people meet each other. They make it easier. To you, maybe, it's not really easier for an introvert to talk like me. You've been asked for a call for three years, though. Yeah, but I guess it's kind of a limit when you bring in two strangers into this. Well, listen, even talking to us is a big step for you. It was just as much of a big step for Courtney after, you know, three years of you guys talking. It's been a long time. And all she's wanted is like literally this moment right now. Yeah. The thing is, uh, I don't like my voice and the way I look. Cause uh, even though I'm a guy, I have a condition, uh, basically a hormonal imbalance, which is why I sound like softer than a normal guy would. And I have more like, softer features so that's one of the reasons why i did, didn't even want to call because even my friends sometimes like pick on me for uh, this thing yeah but but you know that courtney's not one of those people courtney is understanding and loving it's been like so long that even if i were comfortable enough to share myself with her it would be just kind of awkward for me well so what do you think do you just see her as like a cool friend that you talk about stuff that you guys both like together with obviously she's more than a friend oh. chris i i think Despite your insecurities, you already know that you're a likable person, even if you may not like yourself. But you and I both know what you have to do right now. It's time to come on screen to let Courtney see you. I know this was gonna come. Please. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, that looks good. You already know that you're a likable person, even if you may not like yourself, but it's time to come on screen to let Courtney see you. I know this was gonna come. Please. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, that looks good. Yay! There you are. 
So the picture you sent her, that was you? Yeah, that was me. Well, Courtney, looking at Chris, I'm going to bet that you like what you see. Yeah. Mm, I'm so happy. I see nothing but perfection right here, so. It is so perfect. I mean, how does that feel, Chris? Like, this is the girl who you've been talking to for a long ass time, and you guys are really cool, and she doesn't care about any of the things that you're the most insecure about. Like, she doesn't give a shit about hormones. It's nice. Uh, I, I am just nervous. <laughs> you know. Uh, it's okay to be nervous. Chris, the question that I have now is, you know, normally someone in your situation who is very private with their identity, we just, we would assume that you weren't the person in that picture. Since that was a picture of you, why then didn't you at least feel comfortable sending other photos? That way at least you could control the pictures that she sees of you, that you like, that you feel good about. I don't feel good about any picture. I don't like myself. I don't like showing myself. Have you always felt like that? Mostly, yeah. Have you had a relationship, a girlfriend in person in, in Turkey? So would it be fair to say that physical intimacy is not something you're, you're super experienced with? Yeah. I ask because I know Courtney's probably ready to get on a plane tomorrow. Are you nervous about that? Kinda. I mean, like, I would like it, but I'm like really scared and awkward about it. <laughs> People don't like me. You know, you say that, but I'm looking at Courtney and it's it's not adding up. I only have two hands. I, I'm pointing at myself with all 10 fingers. I'm just saying, I think that for once, you could maybe give yourself permission to not think that someone doesn't like you because she does and you're trying to tell her she doesn't and she keeps trying to tell you that she does, so. It's a habit. Hey, Chris, who is Eche? Eche is my best friend. She's basically family to me now. Because Courtney mentioned that she would send money and that it would get sent to Eche. Yeah. Why didn't you just have Courtney send money to you? Because TransferWise needs to have your address for sending anything, and I didn't want to give out my address. <laughs> But you did give Courtney some address. Yeah, she sent something to my dad's workplace. So what was the money for? Turkey has been in a economic crisis for the past couple of years. So sometimes I would get too broke and I couldn't even afford to have food at some point. So she would help me out. And I can't really have a job because most places don't really hire me because the way I work in general, because like, this is a country where everyone's a judgmental asshole. Well, I think that they just don't understand you. But I know someone who does understand you. We've never been too hopeless to hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on! 